okay, so this is an experiment. Um, Sweetwiver recently posted a video where he played uh, Beware with the, the VR mod. And that mod is called... Uh, uh, let's see, I think it's Virgin. VR Gin. Uh, v R G I N template. I'm using 1.1 because I think that's the latest version. And I tried it with Monsters 2, Pixel Junk's Monsters 2, and that didn't work, so I wasn't that positive about it. I was like, this won't work with anything probably, but who knows, or it takes tweaking. But this is already the definite edition, and it, it's working. <laughs> um. Let's see, I, I don't think I have a save for this game, so... Let's see... I can't actually see the menu. And... This is awkwardly... All flat... Oh! Do I actually have a save? It, it's... Interesting, because this actually shows how the game is built. Um... It is really, really large in scale, because I can't get close. Uh, I'm moving in my space, but it's super far away. <laughs> but you can see, like, the foreground is in front, and... Yeah, it's built up in layers, even if it's 2D. I I think this might actually be safe. I can hardly remember anything about how to play this. I think this is the wrong direction. Yeah, but this is interesting, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> oh. You can see the edges of the map, which is obviously not how it's supposed to be. <laughs> it's crazy how this, like, Reels things that normally would be outside outside the map. I don't have double jump? Okay. This is scary. This looks really bad. Oh. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I, I think I've gone a miss of the, the HUD. I don't think I have uh, the UI elements for that. Um, I can see exactly what's all over the place. This is the kind of freedom that I've appreciated in... I don't know how many played Tiny Toy, toy, box, toy box Turbos. It was like Micro Machines on the PlayStation 1. And I'm probably dead soon. I haven't played this in years, so I'm, I'm just pressing random buttons. Uh, I think this is a checkpoint. Yeah. Level appears quite, quite some time before it has to. Wow. It's pretty amazing to see it at this scale. You can see like deep down below and and super high up. This. I, I wouldn't mind playing like this at all. Um, wow. I think there's a... Oh! If I press the start button, I can't actually see the menu, so it, it might turn out pretty complicated to play like this. It might actually be... Uh... <laughs> Let's see how far back I can go. No, I don't see it in front of me, so I don't know where it is. It's interesting to see how much is still moving, even if my character freezes. Huh. Um, it's it's nice to see all the different. I guess these actually move in parallax, maybe, maybe. I think these are bouncy, bouncy things. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna try more games. This is interesting. 
at this point, just seeing anything of the game in VR is amazing. Oh, so after that... Oh, this works really well. So this is Besiege. Um, I'm not sure if I... I don't think I can actually click on anything. My mouse cursor is really close to my eyes. And um, I can click the right button and spin, but I don't think I can select the level. Which is a problem. I can't actually click anything. Uh, let's see. I can't drive it only by the keyboard in some way. That's a shame. I would have loved to see small environments in VR as well, not just the, the main menu. I think this has to do somewhat with uh, how the interface is moved in front of your VR face. Yeah, this is pretty neat. You get the 2D screen first and then... Let's see if I can click through quickly. Oh, there's a menu. Oh, and we're moving. Oh. Campaign. Continue. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. Where am I actually? Oh, there's the bus. A bit hard to see um, when you don't have any border of the screen that's focusing your vision. Well, so far this is working. Uh, the last time it froze, but let's, let's just try a level. I haven't even played it single player yet, so... Uh, let's go cat. I think there are only two buttons. It's a bit annoying to have it almost straight down. It's not like... Uh, very... Oh, can I switch between... I have two? Oh, I have two! Okay. I haven't played this in a while now, so uh, apparently I'm... Uh, not so used to this. Tomato soup? Why do I have res... Other oh, orders. Oh, there we have tomato soup. I need three tomatoes. Basically, if you're two people, one can... Now I'm burning up the soup. I think you can play this on... as four people. That's apparently pretty hilarious. Can I? Oh, I can leave it there and doing that. Okay. So I can... Oop. I can start doing this and switch to the other one. Oh, that makes sense. I think I've been thinking when doing this. There you go. Myself. And uh, let's put this on the stove again. And I don't think... Oh, they actually want more onion. There you go, one plate of... Wait... Maybe? Yeah. yeah, this works. That's interesting. And... Uh, it's amazing how much stuff there is all around here. Like people sitting inside of the house. Is that only for when the camera sweeps in in the beginning? Maybe. That's still a skybox. I guess that might be for lighting. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that was interesting. So I've been trying a whole a ton of games and so many games don't do anything in VR at all. Um, 
I'll probably dump a list on Twitter on every title I tried, and I'm not sure if there are like parameters to change. Am I recording? I think I'm recording. I think this is working. Uh, I think it aligns this uh, overhead thing when I start the game. Uh, I have only played this quite some time ago and very shortly. Oh. <laughs> It's interesting to see how 2D effects have been made by moving things in 3D. Also, I noticed when I played Ori that I was so confused by trying to remember how to play the game that I interrupted talking about Toybox Turbos. And the big, oh, the big benefit with playing in VR in that game was that you could see the entire track which otherwise was a top-down racing car game. And it gave you huge benefits in uh, how you could plan your route and how you could drive. And uh, I played with a friend and uh, revealed afterwards that I was playing in VR. And I think he only won, he won like once in, in five races or whatever. If it was 10 races, I can't even remember now. So that was super, uh, advantageous. Interesting that the interface is actually below the game view. So this might not have been the most ex oh this is creepy. <laughs> Are those actually visible when you play the game? Maybe. Uh. Oh, this is much better. So, interface up there is perfectly fine. Oh, and oh, sh I can see the entire level. Wow. The, the <laughs> oh, we meet again. It is truly an eternal war we wage. Uh, oh, yeah. I think this is supposed to be 2D Dark Souls, basically. Uh, yeah, it's amazing that I can see the whole level. So I I didn't include that in this video. That I tried Epistory, which is a typing game. Um, the problem in, with Epistory is that it was just like this that you could see the entire level. Just that uh, it was a it's, it's, it's a three D game, and my computer was just dying slowly uh, because of the whole three D map being visible at the same time. Oops. It's going really badly. I think it's hard to uh, gain new health. Oh, that's block. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty interesting. Definitely diff Oh! <laughs> that was too small to see, so spikes killed me. Spikes coming up from the ground. It's not so far away that I can't get parallax. Um, I can see the smoke moving back in the distance. It's fun that I can see the background being way back there, just to be in front of the smoke. <laughs> This is a different way of analyzing game design or, or game development methods, I guess. Uh, <laughs> also see the particles are on top of everything. Divine Angel will also restore your vitality and mana. Oh, I can't jump on top of them, apparently. I wonder how easy it is to see the tags, really. Oh. Got 
that I hate when you uh, take damage from uh, just touching stuff. Uh, instead of just actually being hit. Uh. Uh. That's a nice lighting effect. I think it only affected that small piece. Yeah, this was, this was interesting and I can see back, way back there, some kind of underground environment. Let's see if I move all the way. Oh, I'm outside my play space. <laughs> the particles go super far up. <laughs> and the smoke is also going quite a distance. Well, this is really interesting and uh, nice to see how things actually are built. Uh, it's a shame I can't get more games working. I'm not, I'm not sure if I can actually tweak, tweak the setup somehow, so to make more stuff work. Um, yeah, this is... Really exciting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, uh, some difficulties like the when you're being below everything else. Yeah. Well, that's it. Um, I saw Sweeviver just released another video uh, playing a sneaking game that looks pretty awesome. Uh, I'm gonna check that out now. Yeah. Um, that's it. Bye.